Hey guys, welcome to my Divine Timing Tarot. Um, I'm going to be doing a bonus read uh, for the month of January for the sign of Leo. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you to everybody for all of your support um, and all of your comments. I enjoy reading them. So I'm going to go ahead and this is uh, this is for all Leos, whether you're single or you are um committed to someone, whatever the case may be. We're just going to look at uh, your past energy, present energy, and future outcome. So this is for all of my Leos. Bonus read for January 2022. And I'm also going to uh, pull one card um, from your angels. It'll be right at the end. I'll pull one card and we'll see what they're trying to tell you. So let's begin. Leo's for January 2022. Past, present, and future outcome for all of my Leo's for January 2022. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope everybody um, enjoys and take advantage of your uh, weekend. Leo's past, present, and future outcome for all of my Leo's for January 2022. One more. So Leo, um, the arcanas I have here, the major arcanas I have on the table here are Pisces, Gemini, Leo, um, and Sagittarius. Uh, all the elements I have down here are earth, earth, fire, air. Yeah, strong fire and earth here. So I feel like in the past for a lot of you, um, somebody really made you guys very happy. But I feel like somebody was not putting in all the work. Only, maybe only you. I feel like the other person was not um, putting in enough work. There wasn't a solid foundation here for you guys. And I feel like for some of you, you there was possibly a conversation you spoke up. A lot of you um, took action towards this person, towards your life in general. You took action and you stood up for yourself. I feel like right now, um, for some of you that are with somebody, I feel like your soulmate is coming or has come already. You, all you want is happiness with this person. You want to be able to build with this person. There's potential here. Lots of potential here with this person.
But I feel like for some of you, I feel like for some of you, this person fantasizes about this connection a lot, or perhaps you do. I feel like there's a lot of um, illusion here. Somebody here uh, fantasizes a lot about this connection. They fantasize like how it could be you know what you two can achieve together in the long run how how good this connection would be and can be maybe you fantasize about moving in together um long-term commitment marriage having kids there's a lot of fantasy here with this person and I feel like it's on both parts. I feel like both of you know the potential here. And I feel like, keep in mind this is for January. I feel like for the outcome here, I feel like this person is trying to balance out their feelings. They're trying to balance out their life. They're not really doing much towards this connection. I feel like they're just trying to balance out their life in general and their, the way they feel about you. And I feel like you're just waiting. You're waiting for this person to come in, to offer you this new journey, this new beginning. You're waiting. And I get from this person as well, too. This person might be in and out of your life a lot. They're very attracted to you. Very. The attraction, they have love for you, even though they might have not said it yet. But they do have love for you. They see you as their other half. You see each other as soulmates. But I feel like this person is trying to balance something in their life. They're not ready to put in all the work just yet. You make them very happy. They see you as somebody very positive, very outgoing, somebody like vibracious. They see you as someone who speaks their mind and that could scare them a bit but I just get that they're more in a fantasy right now more than anything and they're just trying to gain some sort of balance within themselves and I feel like you're just waiting you're just waiting on them coming in they're there. But I feel like they're just not that serious right now. I mean, their feelings are serious about you. There's no doubt about that. But I feel like as far as the commitment goes, they're not going totally all in right now. They're trying to gain some sort of uh, balance here in their own feelings, in their own life. They're seeing things. They're just trying to fantasize what could happen between you guys in this connection. There's a lot of fantasy here between you guys both. Who is this Knight of Wands? For Leo, who's the Knight of Wands? You guys, some of you might think that this person is, is a player because they're not consistent with their actions. 
One more. It says Knight of Wands. You got the Knight of Cups. This person wants... They want to ask you out. They do. But their energy right now is very in and out. They want to express their true emotions to you. But I feel like they're trying to gain some sort of balance. They're trying to cut through some sort of illusion. They're trying to just come to some sort of realization. Is this person really the one for me? Or is this just all in my head? Is this just a fantasy here? Let's clarify the lovers. Let's see if we could get any more details on this person. What's the lover's card? For Leo, what's the lover's card? Yeah, this person, you got the nine of pentacles in reverse. For some of you, this person um, might be in a relationship right now. For some of you. For others of you, this person doesn't want to remain single anymore. They don't want to see you single either. They want this commitment with you. They're just trying to, like I said, they're trying to gain some sort of balance. They're trying to figure out, is this an illusion? Can we really have this Ten of Pentacles together? Can we do this? Will this be successful? They're really doing like, they're doing a lot of reflecting here. They're in regret. They're trying to come out of this. I feel like it's, they're feeling like this is all some sort of illusion. They don't believe that this is so strong. This, they know that it's a strong connection. They know that deep down inside, but they're having a hard time with that sort of uh, feeling. They're having a hard time accepting that. Let's pull a card for angel answers for my Leos. What message do we have for my Leos? What message do my angels have for their Leos? Take action. If you guys haven't seen my other read that I posted, um, I believe it was yesterday on Leo. It was either for Leo. I, I believe it was for Leo. I was going to say Taurus, but I believe it was for Leo. That was the message I said to you guys. Take somebody needs to take action here. Somebody needs to take a risk here. Somebody needs to take action. That's a message from your angels. They're saying take action. Somebody needs to take action. One more card. Let's just shuffle. Let's get one more card from your angels. One other message for my Leos, please. One other message, please. Listen to your intuition. 
I feel like this message is for the both of you. This person needs to really listen to their intuition and not their mind. I feel like their mind is stopping how they truly feel. In their mind, they're feeling like this, this can't be true. This is some sort of illusion or fantasy. But angels are saying, take action and listen to your intuition. So that's a bonus read that I have for you guys for this month. I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed this spread that I did for you and this reading. Please like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, um, and I'll see you guys again. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Thanks again. See ya. Enjoy your weekend, guys.